Virgo, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Virgo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Virgo, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading where we'll pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. First card, Queen of Pentacles. This is a reminder from your angels and guides that it is your birthright to be rich. If it was up to your angels right now, you would be a multi-millionaire just riding around, going on dream vacations and crushing life. This is what your angels want for you. Your angels and guides do not want you to suffer. Now you may ask yourself, why am I going through this energy of lack? Why am I going through this energy of scarcity? There's nothing wrong with you. This is the energy of planet Earth. A lot of stimulation simulation, chaos, and fear. And right now I'm going to show you exactly how to clear this energy so you never have to experience lack, but instead replace it with abundance. Scarcity is nothing more than fear. Scarcity is actually excitement when used accordingly. And I'll show you exactly how to use that. Now look at this. Look at the abundance waiting for you. Two of cups, nine of cups, eight of cups. You got a lot of abundance here and a lot of changes, significant changes about to take place. One more card. We got the nine of swords, three of pentacles. Yes, please. Next to the two of pentacles. So that's a synchronicity, two and three pentacles right there. Third party that wants to collaborate with you, but there's a little undecisive energy. We'll figure out what that is. Four wands next to the four swords. Need I say more? Look at that synchronicity. Ace of wands, high priestess, and they got the sun card. It's like, come on now, Virgo. This is big and you're crushing it. Now, Virgo, your affirmation for today is I am attracting wealth right now. Yes, you are. Affirmation means effortless attention. Write this down in the comment section. I am attracting wealth right now. What you're doing is quantum entangling with this energy. If you write this down, I am attracting wealth right now in the comment section, you're letting the universe know I am ready. You are commanding, assuming, expecting. There's no scarcity. There's no wishing, wanting, hoping, needing. You're letting the universe know you invite money into your life. You welcome money into your life and that you are full Fully aware that this is your birthright. Remember, everyone wants you to crush this right now, own this, and be wealthy. I am attracting money into my life right now. Write this down in the comment section, quantum entangle with this energy. Your angels and guides are telling you, right now, you have this energy that is very magnetic and you're pro your, uh, uh, um, attracting all the right people, situations, moments, everything that you're looking for. Your subconscious mind is drawing to you right now because your conscious mind knows what its desire is. And right now the conscious mind gives orders to the subconscious mind. So the, sub, the conscious mind says, I want to start a business. Subconscious mind goes, great, I'm going to set things in motion. Now you got to understand right now that your conscious mind is picking up on information, but it has to stay on track, on point towards the goals that it wants to have. It can't go back and forth because what happens is the subconscious mind just takes orders, but it doesn't decipher whether the order is good or bad. So for example, okay, I'll show you this trick, right? At the end of this reading, you're going to love this. I call this the wish factory trick. I'll show you how to exactly get every single you wish you're looking for every single time and never have to worry about whether or not it's going to get done because you will have full confidence in it. What is going on right now? The fact that you got the two and three of pentacles here, this goes to show that you have this undecisive, almost wobbly energy when it comes to your wealth. Right now, you have one foot in, one foot out. You want to do something, but fear is preventing you from doing it. For example, you want a promotion, afraid to ask your boss for one because you don't want to get fired. You want to go start a business, but you're afraid to lose money because it can go wrong. But this energy is something that not only you're feeling, but three pentacles, third parties as well. So it's hard for other people to collaborate with you. For example, your boss feels this un 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 you know, undecisive energy and therefore does not feel the confidence in giving you that promotion right now. This is an energy can easily get cleared. I'm going to show you exactly right now. Your angels and guides are telling you that with the trick I have, that wish factory trick, you are going to be celebrating a monumental moment very soon, but it requires you to really take some time and tap into that fourth dimensional energy, which I'll show you how to do. Now, I do see here that there is a significant change that also needs to be taking place on side of this. And this change is really second guessing yourself. And this is not listening to your higher self, but instead listening to fear, which is our lower self. Now, how do you decipher between the two? Higher self makes you feel good. Lower self makes you feel bad. Not easy or hard, good and bad. I'll give you an example. Higher self is as, as, as easy, as simple, and feels as good as <sighs> breathing air. This feels good, right? Now hold your breath. Huh. 
doesn't feel good. Exactly, because your lower self makes you feel out of alignment. So therefore, when something scary or bad happens, what do you feel like? You're tense, holding your breath. You feel like you want to walk away. This energy right here, I'm going to show you how to clear. Now, the energy that I'm picking up from you, you have the high priestess and the magician. The, your angels are telling you that you're doing all the right things in the practical portion. Like you're, you're crossing the T's, dotting the I's, you're taking all the action steps. But the fourth, fifth, and seventh dimensional energy, the high priestess and the magician, magic, spiritual quantum, is the money on the table we're leaving. And I'm going to show you how to capitalize on that. I have a trick right now that when you use this, I call this the, 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 the wish factory trick. This right here, you are going to be able to wish for anything you're looking for and have it delivered to you and you're going to be able to decipher whether or not your awareness is going into the right things. So for example, picture this. I want you to picture you having a, a factory that you can go to and this factory, the factory owner and you are friends. Now the factory owner says, listen, whatever you want, Virgo, I got your back. I got this wish factory that we produce wishes and all you have to do is tell me the wish you're looking for and I'll go get it done. You let me know anything. You want to be able to be rich, let me know and I'll go get it done. You want to be able to meet your soulmate, let me know and I'll go set it up. Now, only two stipulations I have, the, the, the factory owner, they tell you that first one is that instead of speaking to me through email, text message or words, I want you to speak to me through feelings and ideas. So when you have an idea or feeling, that's a direct line to me. You don't need to pick up the phone, I already can hear you or telepathic. Now the second stipulation is whether the wish is something that you want that is desirable or something that is actually negative. I don't have time to babysit and check what your wish is. If you order something, I'm going to give it to you. So if you order a boat, a yacht, I'm going to give it to you. But if you also order a monster, I'm going to make it as well. Pick and choose what you want. So definitely think about it before you send me this message feeling. So now I want you to replace the word wish were, uh, excuse me, wish for manifestation, for example, but also replace the word factory for subconscious mind. So you are actually the conscious mind. Now the factory, the wish factory is the subconscious mind. The conscious mind says, hello, I would like to be a millionaire and I would like to have my own business. The subconscious mind goes, cool, I'm gonna go get things done. But then if the subconscious mind says, I don't think this will ever happen, this, the, excuse me, the conscious mind says that, the subconscious mind says, yeah, you're right, there's no point in making this happen. So you, again, you gotta understand, the subconscious mind gets it all done for you, that's the factory owner. Just let them deliver what you're looking for, but make sure when you speak to them, them, that energy that you give them is positive. Don't send them down the path you don't want them to go down. Do you know what I'm saying? That's why it's so important to control your thoughts. How you think and how you feel creates your state of being. Your state of being creates your reality. Your reality what's it, is it what's in harmony with you. What does that really mean? That means that the person who wins in life is the person who feels what they want to feel. This is their desire. You want to feel you know, abundant desires. Now, how do you control this feeling is with your thoughts. That's it. It's as simple as pie. The path in life is simple. It's just not easy, right? It's easier said than done. It takes a little bit of practice. All right, Virgo, now your animal spirit, look at this, right? Antelope spirit, and look at the message. Life is speeding up, and that really goes to show that you're gonna have multiple different opportunities and situations present themselves, because when synchronicities take form, one thing happens after another. And remember, you can't force your reality into existence. All you can do is take uh, presence of it, right? So for example, you can't force yourself to be rich, but you could own the feeling. Take presence of it and let it come to you. All right, Virgo, now final message from your spirit guides. Look at this, look at this theme of the day, expansion. Right now they want you to really focus on expanding, number 12, one, two, that's a synchronicity. And right now, their message to you is you are continually moving, evolving, and going through cycles in your life. Attune and align yourself with the rhythms of nature around you. This is an exciting time with new beginnings, growth, and changes. There are so many settings that will provide for inner development. So right now, expand, grow, learn, love, enjoy, passion, unity. All those words sounded good, right? Exactly, because they're in alignment with you. Now check out these words. Uh, jealousy, anger, hate, animosity, pain. Ugh. Didn't feel good, right? Exactly, because that's not in alignment with you. You're a spiritual being filled with unconditional love. You are meant to be happy, grow, live, and enjoy your life in peace. You are not meant to suffer whatsoever. So remember, it is your birthright to be rich. Ask yourself, what is your desire? How do you want to get rich? Become a Hollywood scriptwriter. Ooh, I want to work for a company that pays me 250K annually, and I want to make sure I have a company car and a corner office, and I want to make sure I 
meet my soulmate at my company. Da 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 da. Great. Remember the, the factory owner? Now that's your subconscious mind. Stay in that. Let, think and feel that energy. And then the factory owner's subconscious mind will take care of the rest for you. All right, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.